Okay, I've got Sebastian out and he's getting ready to head home. So I wanted to put a little bit on tape, show you where he finished up at. He's doing really well. You know, some of the moments that you're going to have with him are going to be when he's off leash, you know, and um, he's just going to be a little excited. My recommendation is just to make sure to have him on leash as much as possible and then just turn him loose when he's, um, you know, outside or when he's, um, you know, in the house and he's been there for a while and he's really relaxed and kind of calming down, that sort of thing. Um, he's just a puppy. He's going to be excited um, and he doesn't know how big he is. You know, he gets excited and he does circles and he does, um, you know, stuff like that. And he just, it's, it's not anything that there's anything wrong with it. It's just being a puppy. So um, I think he's done really well. He's learned all these commands very nicely. Um, he picks things up very quickly. No no so um you know i think that if you need to expand this at all um you know you can as far as that goes he's really good he's very well behaved um and he thinks um you know he thinks things through but he gets them very quickly all right sebastian you want to go let's show off come on let's go good boy Good. Automatic sits most of the time. If he's distracted, I'd give him the sit command. Stay. All the way out to the end of the leash. If you tug, he'll tug back. No. Sit. All the way back to his side. Make him wait. This is where he gets a reward so he can have a treat. Okay, and he can get up. Good boy. Good. Let's go. Nope. Leave it. He starts to sniff the ground or he wants to get distracted by the ground. Tell him to leave it. No. No. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, hurry. Did you forget to take off? Come on. Off. He gets a little crowdy sometimes. He's like leaning on you. Just pull out and tell him off. He's kind of, I've had to kind of teach him that because he can be a little bit clingy. Stay. All the way out and then turn and face. You want to make movement side to side. No. Don't let his feet move. Don't let him move. If he moves around, it's no. Most of the time, no needs to be followed with a pop. But if he stops, I just let the no go. All the way back. Good boy. Okay. Good job. Come on. Let's go. Hurry. Good. Hurry. Good boy. Not going to get fast on running. I do want to get a little bit of movement in. He does very well. Slow. Uh-uh. I didn't sit. Slow. Good. Just pushing on him? No. To make him behave and walk. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Ready? Down. Good. Stay. He's a little bit. He's just learning down. Down. Good. Stay. No. Down. The down part we've got. The stay, not so much. Stay. He's getting a little bit better with it. No. Good boy.
Uh-uh. No. Down. And just like with Sid, he can't get up until you release him. So he's got to stay there until you tell him that he can get up. All the way back. Okay. Then he can get up. We're going to try another one. Come on, Sebastian. Got to move a little bit. Let's try it again. Good boy. Sebastian, down. Good. You got my leash. Hold on. No. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Sit. Down. Good. Stay. That was much better. As I said, he learns quickly. This has been about three days we've been working on this. So it hasn't been just a lot of time. And I think he's picked it up very well. Good boy. Okay. Good job, bud. All right. While we're back this far, we're going to do some comes. Ready? Are you ready? Sit. Ready, ready, ready? Get it. Sebastian, come. Ready? Get it. Oh, you missed it going. Okay, come. All right. Ready, 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 ready? Get it. Sebastian, come. Hurry. Get it. Sebastian, come. Now you remember. Sit. Try it again. Get it. Whoops. Sebastian, come. Get it. Sebastian, come. Good boy. Notice that I don't have him in real close. He's actually out a distance. No, leave it. But this is for your own protection. If you let a big dog get right into you, they're going to jump on you and that's not good. So I've taught him to sit out a little ways. Get it, hurry. Sebastian, come, hurry. Come, come, come. Good boy. Good, ready? Get it. There it is. Sebastian, come. Good. Good job, bud. It's such a fun, fun pace with Danes because even though they learn quickly and stuff like that, they're a little slow about everything because of how big they are. They just don't get in a hurry. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, come here. Let's try that again so they know what the command is. All right, Sebastian, place. Places, get on your bed and stay there. He's a big boy. This is an extra large bed. This is the largest bed we have, so it's a little tough. He's a little nervous about down on it. Down. Good boy. He tends to get down and get right back up. Okay. Got your leash caught. Place. Oh, try it again. Place all the way. Good. No. Place is the command. They can sit up. No. Lay down, turn around, do whatever they want. But as soon as that foot comes off, that's where we give the correction. Good boy. Okay. If you're going to have him put on a bed in the house or something like that, I would recommend giving him something to do so he stays on there. Maybe a bone or something that he can have that he chews on sit. I know. Ready? Down. All the way. All the way. Good. Good boy. He just hadn't relaxed into that down on the bed. He gets there and then he gets right back up most of the time. Overall, he's done really well. You know, from here it's about following it up. Um, and unfortunately, with you guys living a little ways away, it's going to be a little tougher, but we do need to make some classes and stuff like that. Um, whatever works for you guys, I can try to work out with my schedule um, as far as that goes, but it does get hot in the afternoons, so we are going to have to try to do some early morning classes because that's when guys train the best, and it's just really safer for them overall. So um, my classes are Saturday mornings at 9. Any Saturday you can make the group class. That's great. If you can't, then you need to call and make some appointments so that Sebastian can come back and work with me one-on-one -on -one so we can do some training and, and follow it up from here. He's just a big puppy, but I think handling is going to be key, and that's what we need to work on with you guys. So right now we're going to put him up and give him a bath, get him all cleaned up, and we'll see how he does when you get here. What was that? Okay.